This is our second uh, camp, so in two weeks time uh, uh, next we'll be announcing the, the team that goes to the Oceania so it, they will march in into camp on the on the 19th so we, a lot of uh, our players at the moment they have been picked from Skipper Cup so a lot of our uh, half of some of our super rugby players have been rested but at the same time they are, they are doing their own uh, training uh, at the uh, at the gym and uh, with the with the SNC, it's a lot of learning. Uh, it's another step up from a uh, uh, super rugby level, and uh, you're playing for your country, and uh, and you have to give it all. And we've learned how to how we play uh, according to our set pieces like line out and scrum. But it was a good uh, good start for us, uh, building up into the World Cup. At the moment, I will announce it when it, when it comes to it. But uh, the announcement, uh, I will be picking my place next week. Mm -hmm. But the announcement will be done with the uh, Fiji rugby. Oh, they, they, they lift the standard, and I'm some uh, surprise. Uh, for Nantronga, they are sixth place, and Suva. So all those girls that been uh, uh, lifting up their hands in the skipper cup. And, and, and I'm very happy that they come in and not uh, shy or, or start over again, like passing and catch and pass. But they, re they really want to play for, for Fiji. And that's going to be a big threat for our Super Rugby girls. The door is still wide uh, open. Uh, this week we'll be doing our uh, talent ID again. Uh, as long as we get uh, a lot of girls into our depth chart, that's the better. So that we, it's good for me as a coach to have a strong uh, uh, when we come into selection, so that we can get, take the best into the World Cup and the Oceania. At the moment, there's there's 45, 45 uh, in the depth chart, and also overseas girls are start marching in uh, next week. Uh, the, the overseas girls that are picked, uh, so they they will be coming next week, and because uh, the next camp is that's the Oceania camp. So we just have uh, two weeks before we, we leave for the ocean. Five overseas girls. That's that's directly into the into the team. So they bring in experience and uh, and uh, and and culture and the value into uh, to the to the players. And uh, for these girls, uh, the, the local girls, there's a lot of competition uh, in their in their positions. And you can see at the, their training now, it's uh, nearly more than half of the team are skipper cup players. And, and uh, there are not a lot of uh, skipper uh, super rugby players who play in the super W. So there's a, there's a competition there. And these girls have uh, been told this is the, the last camp for for local players to sh to shine and they are doing their best so that they can be considered for the ocean in two weeks time. Okay. The Andro is a franchise, it's a franchise team and we are going into a long period of competition and, uh, and we're playing uh, the top provincial uh, team like well, the New South Wales, the Waratai, the Queensland Reds the, in Queensland. But for World Cup, playing for Fijiana, it, it's just, uh, the, it's very tight going into the competition and no one wants to lose. You lose, you are out of the the quarterfinal. So, and, and we are in the World Cup with a with a with a strong uh, pool in the strong pool in the in our World Cup, playing England, France, and South Africa. So there's no chance there to lose. Yeah? We we need to play in the, not to go there and make the numbers. And it's our first time going into the World Cup, and it's test match. Test match. You, you play for your country, and there's uh, no nothing is. Uh, just to go out and try. You, you want to be there. You want to make it happen, and that's some of the difference uh, going the, between those two. Yeah, there's a lot of things, a lot of working, uh, work on. Uh, two of my overseas players they're arriving uh, in next week. Sally Tiguru Tuma and Moses Rolun. So they will be part of the the, the Fijian uh, 15s going into the Oceania. So we, we need a lot of uh, quality coaches into this management because of the consistency we want from these girls and a lot of learning because a lot of our girls they just know rugby last year some of them know rugby this year it, it's not it's not new to it's it's new everything is new to these girls how we go into camp and what the culture rugby culture so we need uh, guys who have been there before to be in this team looking after them at the moment there are, are 16 16 skipper girls uh, here with us marching into camp uh, like uh, last two weeks and this week again.
can't be saying uh, experienced players because they are all new. So I'll be looking at players who are play multiple positions and players who are very disciplined and, and willing to learn and they really want to come into the team and that they really, really want to grab that uh, white jersey. So those are the, to go into this new team, that's what I'm going to be saying. Not like experienced players who are playing many tests uh, going to the World Cup like the like a flying Fiji. So this is a totally different uh, outfit uh, together. Every team that I coach, it's, it's the same, it's the same. And we reap the benefit when we, when we stuck to those uh, values and those uh, rules in the team. And, and, uh, and I can see it's work. And so it's working with these girls also. So I will maintain that.